JR, I want to ask you a question. I get a lot. I, I get it a lot because I roasted them online and <clears throat> it hasn't gone away since with fucking Babs. But I just want uh, one of the reasons why everybody loves it is you speak your mind and you say it how it is. Maybe yep. give me a couple of coaches like, I'm not saying roast them or anything like, but a yep. coach that you liked or, and maybe one so much that, you know, that you didn't like so much. You know, I, it's for, for me, the one coach that I had the, the biggest love hate relationship with was Ken Hitchcock in Philly. Um, you, know, you know, when you're in a Ken, Ken Hitchcock lo locker room, it's Ken Hitchcock's team. Right. And he's one of the best coaches I've ever played for one of the most brilliant minds that I've ever, ever played uh, played for in terms of his hockey knowledge, his ability to work a bench, but he just complained all the time. He whined all the time. And I was one of those guys that liked to have fun. And I wasn't the guy that was, you know, that was stringent in the locker room that was, didn't smile. I always wanted to have fun. And, and he was like, JR, why do you always have to be on your own page? And I'm like, because my page is more fun and it's better and it's more <laughs> exciting. And your page is boring and you just want to, so it was just one of those guys. We, we just, we, we were like sandpaper. I respected the hell out of him, but he drove me crazy. I can remember playing in the game and he's yelling at me in the game. And I literally stopped and said, will you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to play a game here. Like it's enough. I'm tired of hearing you whine, but you can't take away how great of a coach Ken Hitchcock was and what he did in the game. He, he will go down as one of the best coaches of all, of all time. Just, I just wish that he stopped. <laughs> and he wished by the way he wished i stopped my mouth too so there wasn't there wasn't enough air in wells fargo arena for both of us yeah i had hitch for uh for for a year and a half or so in columbus and i, I same thing with with hitch i always thought maybe you'll agree with this if we could have had if we could have had hitch on game day during a game if he would stay in the fucking locker room and come in in the intermission and give us a little spiel and then when everybody else goes out for the game, if he would just stay the fuck off the bench and stay in the coach's room, I don't think he ever would have gotten fired. Because all of the problems, at least when I was around, was yeah. he just got on the bench and would not shut the fuck up. You could be winning well, the game 5 nothing, He'd be all over somebody for, like, doing some minor turnover in the first period. Yeah, I remember Guy Carmino told the story when he was in Dallas the year that they won the cup. He like literally he, he yelled at the team so much he he went off the bench and said, "You guys do your own thing. I'm out of here." And he walked off the bench because the team wasn't was was sucking so much. All of a sudden, the team changed. Yeah. He left. Carbono came on, took over the bench, and they started. They came back, and now they are winning. So then Ken came back onto the bench, and he Carbono goes, "Get the fuck Get off the, the bench! Fuck out of here. <laughs> Get off! You're done! Get off the bench! You're not! You're not welcome here! You leave us once, you're out!" I thought that was like the greatest story ever. <laughs> 